first encountered her almost two years ago. And she came in with a very aggressive breast cancer, um, an unusually aggressive one. Sometimes when you have a really terrible diagnosis, your world can get really narrow because it's about the pain and it's just about trying to get through the day. And she was a woman of incredible strength and courage and dignity. She just had grit and she was funny and she was salty and she just, she held herself very closely in the beginning. I first met Dana Hardy when I went to the City of Hope for radiation. She sat down with me telling me what to expect. She let me know she was always available if I needed anything. Each week, Dana checked in to see how everything was going and if there was anything I needed. It wasn't until a few weeks in that I started to have problems with my skin. It started off being mildly uncomfortable. Then my skin became extremely uncomfortable and finally I was experiencing 10 out of 10 pain. Dana started meeting me after each radiation treatment where she personally bandaged my skin so I could go to work. Dana made an extremely unbearable situation bearable. Dana was there every step of the way. She allowed me to believe I didn't have to go through the struggle alone. But most of all, she allowed me to believe that someone cared. I have never met a nurse who gave so much of herself or cared so unconditionally. One day, when she was finally letting the tears go, and I was holding her, she said, nobody gets to see this side of me. It takes time to build that with someone, and what you do in that moment by listening and responding, that'll stay with you for the rest of your life. Dana is just an absolutely perfect example of a City of Hope oncology nurse. It takes a special person to deal with the joy of sending somebody off after they've completed their treatment, and then two hours later, deal with a patient who may pass away. And it's the time. Nurses now don't have that kind of time to be there for the patient, be at their side. Nurses spend far more time in the tasks that they have to do, whether it's giving the chemotherapy, it's giving the drugs, it's doing the documentation. But a part of being a nurse is how do you take the time, hold their hand, and calm them down. There are moments. The way they play out, it's like they were made to happen. Things will move out of the way for time to happen. When you take the time to really ask, you don't get the I'm fine. I'm able to really listen deliberately and take the time to really hear what's going on besides just the words that someone's saying. It's the questions that you ask that draw someone out and lets you have a window into what's truly going on.